uh, obviously very, you know, exciting game, tough CAA matchup. Uh, you know, I think both teams felt the, the desperation to get the W. Uh, you know, I told the team before the game started, William and Mary had a choice of who they wanted to open up against on the road. It'd probably be us. And, you know, quite honestly, if I had a choice of who I want to come here to open up the conference play, it'd be them. Uh, so I'm glad our, our team showed toughness down the stretch and found a way to win. Questions? Um, Coach, just talk about the end of the, you know, kind of the end sequence there. Um, yeah. Looked like you wanted to play out that last possession. Yeah. Uh, but it actually maybe ended up working out for you guys to, to take the foul. Well, well, we wanted to try to go for a steal and try to foul early because we had a foul to give. And Kelva just decides to foul with 12 seconds left, which is not what we wanted at all. <laughs> um, but and, and put her, their best player and best free throw shooter on the line. Uh, but I was anticipating her making two and then calling a the timeout after the second to set something up. Uh, she misses. Um, and we come down and just play fast like we always do. I, I think, can't think our kids are more comfortable that way. If I call a timeout, I think maybe they set up their 2-3, they, they get us to stand around, they kind of dictate more. I think the way it was was really good. Um, Ryan, another another strong game for you. That's uh, you know really four in a row. Um, solid game for you after that little bit of a slump. What, uh, anything in particular changed for you? Um, you know, during this during this last stretch here? Um, no, I just know I have to be consistent so I can help my team win. And I know um, rebounds are really what's going to help us win. So that's one thing I'm really trying to be consistent at. And, and talk about that last, um, you know, that last little sequence there. I mean, it's just probably just, you know, trying to get best position in case that ball comes off. Um, you know, talk about when the when when you hit the final shot. You know what what kind of emotions were going through. Um, I was excited. That's the first time I've ever done that. But um, that <laughs> that rebound is something that I've practiced every day. Is to get on the inside and just go up, two hands, catch it, come down, and then go right back up. Something that I work on with my position coach. So just something that I normally do. Bree, there was a stretch there, maybe midway through the second half, early part of the second half, where um, you guys were just struggling offensively, and, and I think. You know, you you scored maybe eight or or ten points in a row. Uh, a lot of just baseline jumpers, which seems to be your favorite shot. Um, just felt like you kind of had to carry the offense for a little bit there. Um, you know, talk about when when the team's struggling, how much you want to uh, take some of that pressure off some of your teammates. Um, my coaches helped me out a lot with that. Um, last two games, I've been struggling offensively, so they kept telling me to keep my head up. Shots fall, so I just claimed my confidence today. Got down some shots. You finally feel like you're getting into a swing of things. I mean, it's kind of between the ankle, this, that, and the other. Uh, playing a stretch of games and getting some minutes out there with the team. Yeah, um, it's, it definitely, my injuries and stuff, it definitely threw off my uh, rhythm in the games and stuff. And I'm, I'm just ready to get back in and be able to do what I do. Coach, just talk about you start the season 1-0 uh, and in conference play. It, it, it must feel good knowing that it doesn't matter whoever won or lost, still tied for first. Yeah, I mean, and we and we actually said that to the, the team in the locker room. Um, you know, we're in position to continue to do the things that we wanted to do from the beginning, uh, despite what we did in the non-conference play. I think we've learned, I hope we've learned, and we get better and use that. Uh, but it's a new season for every team in the CAA. Um, and I think it's going to be a tough league. I, I really do. I think people are going to be fighting and clawing, and home wins matter. And uh, we got to find a way to come up and win games at home and compete and fight and claw to try to steal them on the road. So um, huge, huge success for our team. Uh, first time we've been able to do that here. Yeah, five wins. I mean, that was the total each of the last two years. You're not even two-thirds of the way through the season. How do you use that as a confidence builder and just kind of pushing it through the, the, the league play? Yeah, you know, you hope, I hope our team and our kids understand that. You know, we still have to respect the process. We're still not a finished product yet. We're still very young, incorporating people, whether it's the transfers from a year ago or, you know, breeze in and out or whatever it may be. We're still not quite there yet, but uh, we're not where we used to be either. And uh, we're getting better. Uh, and I, I just need them to take confidence in that so we can have it moving forward in these tough games, which I think they're going to be tough games in our league uh, this year. A finish like this, where maybe the last two years you didn't get that bucket at the, the end, that, that rebound. Does, do you hope that's a stepping stone to, to 
to more confidence for this team? Yeah, success brings confidence, uh, no question. And so I think it's it's important for us to do what we did today the way we did it because uh, it wasn't pretty. You know, Kelva's not sitting up here with 25 points and played the game of her life. You know, Kelva played eh, okay, you know, and made some crucial mistakes. Now, she did make a big shot at the end, which is what we need her to do, but it wasn't a perfect game, is my point. And different people had to step in and help us out, and uh, that happened. So I hope our team does take confidence in that. I don't remember the biggest adjustment you made. Uh, they had scored on 9 of 12 possessions to open the half and looked like they might be running away with it. You go zone, yeah. um, and, and that kind of threw off their rhythm a little bit. Yeah. Um, were you anticipating having to – you know, I, I know you I, like to play, did, man. I, I did anticipate having to, to go zone, and it's something I've thought about in our last three games is that we just got to have a secondary defense to keep people off balance. Uh, people start running their stuff, and they get the basket the same way, consecutive possession, after, and, and we can't allow that. So um, we went 2-3, um, and in my head, before the game started, I thought we may need to go some zone. Uh, and it was effective. It was good. They missed shots. We were able to rebound and push, uh, and it, it, I think it saved us in that stretch. Anything else? Guys, thank you.